Hey everyone, today on Six Sister Stuff, I am making the world's best enchiladas. We're gonna make one and we're gonna freeze one. Now we all know that May is one of the busiest times of the year. So I love to find recipes where I can cook something for dinner, then double it and freeze it so I can have another one for next week. Now, if you have not made these enchiladas, I'm telling you, go get the ingredients because it will change the way that you make your enchiladas. I promise you. All right guys. Let's just jump right into the recipe. Now, if you don't know by now, you know that I love the Instant Pot. So we're gonna cook a lot of chicken in the Instant Pot. We wanna double this, so we're going to do about seven, eight chicken breasts. Next, we're gonna add a cup of water onto our chicken breasts. Now, if you're not doubling the recipe, that's totally fine. You'll do about three to four large chicken breasts and you'll cook it for the same amount of time. So we're gonna put the lid on. If you have a little knob, you wanna make sure that's on sealing, not venting. Then you're gonna push pressure cook, and we're gonna cook this for 25 minutes because it's frozen. Okay, while that cooks, we're gonna make a marinade for the chicken. Now, I'm going to double this recipe, like double the marinade and everything, but the single recipe is down below in the description. So we're gonna start with 3 fourths cup of honey, and this is about the whole honey bear. Next, we have about 10 tablespoons of lime juice. Now you can use real limes, but I just like using <laughs> the already squeezed lime juice because it makes my life a little easier. So you need about 0.6 cups, so we're gonna do half a cup and just a little bit more. Then you need two tablespoons of chili powder and about one teaspoon of garlic powder. Then we're just gonna mix this all together. Now you can make this in a bowl too, but I kinda just like making it in <laughs> a resealable bag and just throw your chicken in there too, and then, yeah. Whatever works, whatever works best for you. Once your chicken is done, go ahead and release the pressure. Once the pressure's out, you can open your lid, and we are going to shred all this chicken. Now I like to take out my chicken and shred it on a cutting board. It just makes it a little bit easier. All right, once we have shred all the chicken, we're gonna put it in our bag full of marinade. Now, if you do not have one of these cutting boards that is flexible, I'm telling you, it is one of my favorite things in my kitchen. Now we're just gonna zip this right up. All right, once you're done mixing, I'm gonna take all the air out. We're gonna let this sit in the fridge for about 30 minutes. After it's been 30 minutes or so, go ahead and pull it out. Now you can keep this up to 24 hours in your fridge. And Harper is now gonna help us with the rest of the video because she is awake. <laughs> so you're first gonna take your green enchilada sauce and just pour some into the bottom of a nine by 13 pan. Now we are going to make our freezer meal one in a little bit. Right now we're just gonna make the one that we're going to bake. Now we're gonna take eight tortillas, half of the chicken, and about one cup of cheese that we're going to make these enchiladas out. So let's start. All right, so I'm gonna take a heaping spoonful of the chicken. Actually, more than one heaping. <laughs> Two heapings. And a little bit of the cheese. Then we're just gonna roll it up and put it in your nine by 13 pan. <laughs> then you're just gonna keep doing it until the whole pan is full. Now this is like my favorite part. So usually I have a small can of enchilada sauce, but they didn't have any small cans, so I had to buy a big one. So you have about 16 ounces of green enchilada sauce, and then you're gonna add one cup of whipping cream. Now, if you don't want to use one cup, sometimes I'll just use half a cup. It will still taste delicious. And then we're just gonna mix this together. This is going to be our sauce that we're gonna put on top of the enchiladas. And then we're just going to cover all the enchiladas with our sauce. Now, I like to make sure that all the enchiladas get a little bit sauce on them, just so they don't burn or get crispy in the oven. I don't like crispy tortillas. Next, we're just gonna add the rest of the cheddar cheese. So about a cup or so. Now we're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. Then I like to just cut it up and serve it with sour cream, green onions, kind of whatever you like on top of your enchiladas. Now I'll show you how to make it into a freezer meal. So I'm gonna grab a nine by 13 aluminum pan, and this time we're not gonna put any sauce on the bottom. But we are gonna do Kind of the same thing, so you just wanna make sure you get your chicken and a little bit of cheese. 
Roll it up and throw it onto the bottom of the pan. Now this is the part that's a little bit different. We are not gonna put any sauce on this. We're just going to cover it with the foil and then we're gonna stick this into the freezer. Now when it comes time to cook it, I would suggest pulling it out of the freezer the night before and put it into your refrigerator. That way it will be thawed and all ready to go. So all you have to do is add the sauce and the cheese on top and just cook it as normal. Now if you love freezer meals just like this one, we have something big coming up. So you wanna make sure you get on our wait list. It's down below in the description. All right guys, thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.